Alrighty, good morning guys, and uh, glad to be back at it. It has been honestly three weeks since I've been here, and really haven't been doing anything. A little piddly stuff, but other than that, not much. Mainly maintenance and stuff on the, the machines and stuff is what I've been doing, because the weather has been so atrocious. We had, you know, upward to 20 below zero wind chills, and snow rain sleet and it had everything just so screwed up ground wise that it, you couldn't do anything i mean you literally would just create more of a mess than that's what you were trying to fix so um i am back out here where i built the or buried these uh stumps mainly um i did dig out the mud from there because i'm i'm sure that was the dang tied in there that should i have came back out here to do any work there's no way that i could have ever moved the machine i'm sure it was going to be froze solid so anyway there's quite a bit of wind right now and it's supposed to get up to about 60 today so looking forward to that um i was able to get this bought new work truck new to me it's a 2012 f-250 but got everything switch uh, switched over I've never owned a Ford in my life because I'm a Dodge guy but I got this one worth of money on in an auction so I thought I would try it my old green truck was just, uh, it was starting to have some issues. That old truck came from northern Pennsylvania, so it's absolutely just ate up with rust, as I'm sure that you've seen in the, uh, in the videos from time to time. The frame has holes in it. The body's rotten. The cab mounts, all four cab mounts are rotten, starting to settle down. And it's starting to have a bit of an electronic gremlin in it. Uh, causing the transmission to do some funny shifting. I thought maybe the transmission it had a, it's got 180,000 on it, and I thought, well, it's probably about time for the training to go out on it. Dropped the pan and, and uh, no metal fluid looked great, so I think it's probably an electronic gremlin because sometimes it'll do it, sometimes it won't. So, but it was just time. It was just time to uh, kind of put it to pasture. So, like I said, I ended up by buying that it's uh seems to be a pretty good truck uh seems to run good drive good four-wheel drive works but it's a 6.2 uh and i mean anybody that knows anything about 6.2s know you're you're not going to get great gas mileage with it and i've found that so far so but what do you do it's it's really peppy and runs good so here's what it is but anyway i have two brush piles left you can see where i dug a test hole there i've got to bury that brush pile there and then there's one up on top of the hill i'm not going to waste my time digging up there because that ground is too freaking hard up there and i dug a test hole or two up there same situation i got in over here so i'm literally going to have to take and shove all that down and put in this hole over here so uh it's going to be much quicker to do that so that is the plan uh before i get started i am going to take and try if i've got enough tools with me try to swap these two outside bucket teeth around because as you can see the outsides are rounded off really bad and it'll get into the shank if you're not careful but I'm going to have to get a new set of teeth time I get done with this job anyway, but I'll swap them two outside ones around and that'll give me some more ability to to go a little while longer. Man, that thumb is really getting bent. Look at that. It's cracking both sides right here. I've got to get that thumb off of there get this straightened back over get them gussets 
Strickland just I don't know what their engineers were thinking but you gotta have you gotta have a gusset down here the gusset's not gonna interfere with anything here so I've got some three-quarter inch plate AR plate and I'm gonna take and we'll cut a gusset put a gusset right in in here like this to hold these from wanting to spread apart and I'm obviously gonna have to replace the bushings inside the thumb too so anyway well let's see if the old girl will fire and hasn't been started like I said in probably close to a month now really so anyway Check the oil that cylinder. I've got a packing kit for this cylinder. I just got to get time to get it changed, get it repacked, and then this I've got a top roller. This roller here is starting to seize. So something else I've got to get done here pretty quick. I should be about do for an oil change on this thing too so far this thing hasn't used any oil at all probably one of the best starting machines I've ever had this one it's got a Hino engine 165 horse and honestly probably one of the one of the best starting it doesn't matter if it's well I've started oh 15 below wind chill before when you first turn the key on it'll pop up here engine like engine warming or engine preheat it'll flash about three or four times hit the key bang every time so anyway all right let's get those teeth swapped if i can if i've got the right tools with me i don't know if i do or not but we'll see
properties. It's like you're 200 miles apart from one another. The northern end, which is behind us, is nothing but swamp. This down here is a dang hard to can't even dig it. So
looks I've got and a retention pond to build. Talking about ponds. I've got an a pond expansion. The guy's got about a half acre he wants to put another acre on to. I have sift through those with the loader. So hopefully I can get a hold of Doug over here that's Thank you. 
looks like they've been going down in there drinking probably. All right, I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse. We'll see if we can get us a hole dug.